Hey, what's up guys? Don't click away. Today I'm gonna unbox a Mola G and a TCL 10 Plus. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for sticking around and checking out this episode. If this is your first time here and you guys enjoy all things tech and repair related, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smack that bell so you're notified on our latest videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to reach us on our social media platforms found below or simply leave a comment down in the description area. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and begin this unboxing. My good friend, Don. Come on over here, Don. Don't be camera shy. Hey, what's up, Javi? What's How up, man? You? Hey, man, thank you so much for bringing this in, dude. Absolutely. As you know, we're a bunch of phone nerds here and tech nerds, and we are really excited to check this out. So, this is my good friend, Don. So, if you want, Don, tell us a little bit about what's inside this box. Well, we got a TCL 10 Plus in here with the Moly G uh, VR headset. It's a really neat combo device that's being offered and it's just something that I really want everyone to see and who better than you. Right, to do the unboxing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Don. I'm gonna go to begin this unboxing and uh, you guys stay tuned. We're gonna have some really cool stuff to, uh, we're gonna review this item and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the specs in detail and you know, get our hands on because I know there's not too many videos of this out there right now. So I really hope that this clears up a lot of you guys' questions. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, it's time to dig in. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Oh, there she is. There we are, the Mola G TCL. So a little history about these guys that I didn't mention earlier in the beginning. Uh, TCL, um, from what I understand, they are a Chinese brand. They specialize in TVs and other electronics. Um, they're in Northern, I believe in the Guangdong province. This Mole 5G device is actually now owned by Global Platform Solutions. So they are similar to a multi-level marketing company, MLM. So in order to get this device, if you guys are interested in getting your hands on one of these, um, you would need to talk to a distributor. I'm gonna leave all the distributor links and everything like that. I am myself not affiliated with the company or this device. Um, I'm not getting paid for opening this or anything like this. I'm just opening it for one of my friends, good friends who provided it to us. And um, you know, we are phone tech nerds here. So we wanted to get our hands on this and see what the rave was all about. About. So if you guys are interested in this device, um, I believe the retail price on this is going to be $11.99. That's the starting point. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the price is actually going to be going up by a couple hundred dollars. So if you guys are really interested in getting this, um, try to get on it as soon as you can because I know the price and everything is going to be um, jumping up. So let's go. Let's start with the phone first. So here we go. And I'm pretty excited to see the curved edge on this one. It's similar to all the Samsungs that you guys know that we work on. You can see that you have your type C down here below. We have our loudspeaker and looks like your SIM and SD adapter is going to be down on the bottom. Let's go ahead and boot this up. But overall, the quality and the feel of this phone just feels great. I got to see how to turn this on. There we go. TCL. Look at that powered by Android. So really cool, um, with the four cameras on the back, you're gonna get a wide angle camera. Um, you're gonna get your ultra wide camera on here. You're gonna get a good macro camera. And then um, the really cool one that I saw is you're actually gonna have a nice uh, portrait camera that gives you a lot of bokeh. If you guys aren't familiar with bokeh, is that actually gives you the blurry background whenever you take a camera. So um, really cool, gives you a nice uh, depth of field whenever you do take those types of images. Um, it does have a front facing camera as well. This one's gonna be a 1080 camera. And I believe this one does record uh, 4K, 30 frames per second. And if you do wanna do any kind of um, cinematic shots uh, with the 1080, that one will allow you to do it with uh, 60 frames per second. You can actually convert over uh, images that you take into different languages. So I think that's a really cool one, especially for those international users out there for communicating, sending documents, you'll be able to translate that on the fly. So really, really cool. Um, you can actually connect up to four devices on here, which is really, really cool, you know, so if you wanted to create 
create like a surround sound environment. You can use any four Bluetooth speakers, connect them to here and uh, play music uh, virtually surroundly. So really, really cool. So as far as uh, shopping, I know you guys see items that you guys enjoy and you like and you, one of your friends may have gotten it and you want to say, hey, where'd you get that? And you can actually take a picture of that product and this device will search the internet and give you prices and where to purchase that item so that's a really cool feature for all you shop enthusiasts out there that want to buy something that that you can't find you know or just by taking a photo it'll take the photo scan it search the web and boom you could basically order the item and have it to your porch in a few days so another really cool thing especially with covid now we all all staying at home you know we're not really doing any gatherings or anything like that they have something that's called vr lou which is the virtual reality learning university which is really cool. You can subscribe to that. There is a monthly subscription on that. Um, you basically purchase that subscription and you can register yourself for any types of classes. So you can actually learn, you know, jujitsu, um, any kind of martial arts. You'll basically be um, in a virtual environment where you would get, um, you know, personal uh, training. So I know I did hear something about it. There's a Disney artist on there that you can learn how to draw and learn any kind of um, what do you call it, animation and stuff like that, all virtually, just by wearing the, the VLE or the MOLED glasses. And you know, it's gonna have some really good top of the line specs with the uh, Qualcomm processor. It does have a Snapdragon 665, you know, octa-core Andrino 610 processor. So pretty, pretty, pretty standard out of uh, all the devices out there right now. Um, but let's go ahead and open up this. This is what actually really caught my eye was the, uh, the VR goggles. The VR goggles was something that caught my attention. Right now you have uh, the Oculus and all these other bulky types of glasses that you wear and you know it's cool you know but for portability you don't want to be carrying anything like that around especially if you're traveling and you know the cool thing is um, with these goggles you, or these glasses I should say they are not goggles you can actually um, you know take them with you wherever because they're so portable so here we are here is the wow they feel great I'm excited I lost my speech just because uh, how good quality these feel man these are pretty solid but yeah they have a nice like rubber matte finish here which is nice you know you won't get any fingerprints on here you do have your gloss it's like a blue black finish here you can see the TCL logo let's go ahead and try these on let's see how fashionable they are boom I feel like I'm Robocop or something what are your prime directives serve the public trust Protect the innocent, uphold the law. Man, they feel good, they're comfortable. I wanna plug these guys in, see exactly how they perform. Now the specs on these, they, they're actually saying that with these, they actually simulate watching a 100 inch screen TV, which is pretty fascinating. You know, you can basically fit, how many monitors can you fit on a 100 screen display? So I know what a lot of people, what they're doing is, um, especially sports enthusiasts, they're having, they're able to watch multiple uh, sporting streams by um, arranging it on their device. You can actually arrange different screens and have it all positions in different areas in here. So this is the TCL MOLED G. Really, really cool partner with Sony. I know Sony's making, uh, from what I read, Sony was making the glass and um, TCL was the one with the, uh, with the MOLED, I believe, the technology. So really, really cool. And for those of you out there that do have different facial features, which we all do because we're all different, um, they do include some separate little lenses down below here. One of these lenses is actually prescribable. So if you take it to your optometrist, I believe they can actually make this to where it'll adjust to your prescription, which is really cool. You know, because with the lenses on here, um, we all have different visions. And if you're wearing glasses, then you would have to wear glasses, of course, to get a clear vision on these. So by having this, that'll eliminate you having to wear any kind of prescribed glasses. You could get a prescription, pop it in here, and you are good to go. You know, you'll be able to see everything like normal. And then there is a different types of nose adjustments here. So if you do have a smaller, bigger nose, you can go ahead and adjust that. So that's it. And a nice little travel case, little cleaning cloth here, really sturdy. So this will not crush or bend, which is nice because you don't want to crush your nice headset here. Really, really cool. I like this. I'm a fan. I might have to buy one. Yeah, right. Then I won't work. I'll be sitting in the back room with my glasses on. So let's go ahead and give this a test drive. I'm really interested to see how well these perform. We do have one that's already open and set up, so I'm not gonna go through with that one. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside 
and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the model we're gonna use and you guys will see my first reaction response to this cool Mola G. Okay, so before we go in and test drive these bad boys, I did forget to mention that it does have some cool little audio uh, speakers here. So it is, it looks like they are, I believe, uh, bio-directional or bi-directional. They do shoot the audio inside your ears. So the cool thing with these is it's not gonna cover you. So if you do, if you're outside or anything like that, you'll have surrounding noise. But I don't think, I don't recommend walking and trying to do multiple things while you're wearing these since you are gonna be basically seeing a full panel display. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And the device is gonna give you several options here. So it gets you use a smart glass launcher, which basically you can enjoy the immersive full screen OLED glasses and use your phone as a touch, uh, like a touch pad. So you'll basically be controlling everything on your device here as a mouse while you have the glasses on. Or there's another phone mode, which on the phone mode, you can actually, uh, uh, it basically mirrors your device. So you'll be able to mirror the content from your phone onto your glasses. I'm gonna first start off by doing the uh, smart glass launcher where I'm gonna be using the device as a mouse with the headset on. So, all right, here we go. This is the first time reaction, let's do this. Oh. Dang, that's cool. It looks like an actual monitor or like a projection screen. That is insane. All right, cool. So I have my touchpad here. So I know you guys can't see what I'm seeing, but um, I'll describe it to you guys. I basically see a long horizontal like monitor, TV monitor, similar to like a projector. So, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this mouse. So I can go up here to the gallery and let me see, go to gallery. So there's the gallery, double tap it. Hey, look, and there's pictures of me in there. Hey, so let's get out of there. It's a little quirky, how's this work? I might be upside down. There we go, it was sideways, so there. So really cool, you do have to put the device horizontal, so that way it mimics the display on here. So you get several options. You have your gallery, you have video, Netflix, YouTube, and let's just go to YouTube. Let's see what we have on here. And it doesn't completely blind you. You can actually still see, you know, you, down your lower and your rear peripherals, you can actually see just well. So, I mean, this is insane. Really, really cool, cool technology. Let's see what else is down here. You have VR Lu. Okay, so the VR Lu, that's the VR Learning University. So that's on here as well. So you can basically learn. Let's see what we have to learn. There's a Master Academy. Looks like we can learn some MMA fitness, fundamentals, tennis. Wow, this is insane. So really, really cool, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, get back in here. All right, so now let's go ahead and set this up in phone mode. So I'm basically gonna be able to clone my phone and you'll be able to see everything that I run on here using the VR glasses. So this one you'll be able to see, but let me go ahead and run this. Oh, cool, this is awesome. Man, it looks just like the display. So pretty much what you guys are seeing here on my handheld is what I'm seeing on here. So really, really cool. I like this. I wonder if there's a way where you can make your screen, turn your screen private. Oh yes, there you go. So if you turn your display down, no other, anyone on your side, like your peers won't be able to see what you're doing. So that's kind of cool. And then you still, still have full vision up on here with the uh, VR glasses on. But man, this is, the technology has gone quite a ways. I really enjoy this. This is, this is awesome. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that's gonna wrap up my unboxing setup and, you know, a little walkthrough on, on this headset. I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if there's any way I can clone that imagery that I was doing with the VR headset on so that way you guys can actually see the picture and everything on here because I think that's a really key selling point and you guys being able to see what's going on behind the scenes wearing these goggles. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and then we'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.